lose legs right now. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. This is us walking to bed last night. I take an acting class online when I go to work on stuff. I go into my room and I get my space. I just really just. All right, show notes. Ah. Show notes. This is gonna be in the picture, though. Is that okay? Well, I don't care. Listen. Do you care? Blues. Today's gonna be like a big old hub bubble of stuff that we're just gonna, that we're gonna go over, talk about in our life in the world. This is to keep us on track. I'm actually I'm gonna set a timer too for each section. <laughs> so when the timer goes on, we're moving here's, on. Here's our topic. Whoopi we'll would be proud. Set. All right, we're gonna start off with a call to action. All and right. that's gonna do it. Hashtag LSS. Like. Share and subscribe. Every time we do this, I think about Crow. Okay, I'll give you a little backstory here. I'll try and be quick. Let me set the timer. <laughs> Crow's been watching YouTube Kids a lot lately. That's like his new obsession is YouTube Kids. The other night, we were randomly, we were sitting in the kitchen. I think I was making dinner. And he was making fun of one of the like kid YouTubers that he watches. And he was like, like my video, share my video. And he's like, it's kind of dumb when people tell you to like their video. Like they're making you do something. If you, if you want to like it, you're just going to like it. Why do they try and make you do it? And of course, in my head, I'm like, Ooh, how many times have we said that in a video? But we're not very often. <laughs> I'm mean, like terrible at it. Does it actually work? I don't know. It Who's work? likely to like this video just because we tell them to, or share this video, or subscribe? Maybe some that. people need to be told what to do. I don't know. If, you're, if you're not a subscriber, but you subscribe because we told you, let us know because I'm curious. I need a marker. You know, I'm more inspired by Rachel Maddow. I need a marker to. You need your pages though, so between each topic you hear the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wrinkled it! That's Rachel. I imagine her desk to just be to be a cluttered like desk of just wrinkled up papers. Oh, I love Rachel Matt. As Matt demonstrated in the beginning of this video, I'm a little sore right now. So guess what? We are fully vaccinated. Yay! Ding 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 ding! Woo! You're so jumping that... way ahead. No, listen. I have a point though because. We finally got fully vaccinated. We decided we were gonna go back to the gym. We know we built this like whole home gym in our garage, but it's just not the same. And you get tired of doing like the same things over and over again, so. Well, it is, like, there are a lot of different exercises you can do, but it is a little primitive as far as like what our setup is. And anybody that goes to the gym, you know all the different leg presses you have. There's just a, a variety and more options of, of different exercises you can do, which is why I'm so sore. I mean, I, I can't walk right without my show notes. We've been staying active and we worked out and we do squats and everything, but a couple of those leg press machines, man, they have got me so tight. Like my neck's, neck is in knots. So, it's, but it's good. It's a good feeling. It's just going to take a couple weeks to uh, work through that. It was just like a kid in a candy store walking back into the gym to be like, ah, this machine, I remember being able to do this. Oh, what about that one? And even though it's like nice to not do all machines, after a year of like not having any, it was just like fun and exciting to have all these fun new toys to play with in the gym yeah. again. I think you were more excited about all the mirrors all around the gym. Oh, I can't <laughs> The actual workout. Well, you just knocked out two talking points right there. Moving on. No, what other talking point? Well, fully vaxxed. I was supposed yeah. to be like- But let's talk about more about being fully vaccinated. I don't, so I don't like... want to talk about that. Oh, I want to move on to recap. We're gonna recap. Ray, hold on. Will you please <laughs> stop? <laughs> I just want you to feel like Rachel Maddow. I know, but I need a highlighter. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> now we're gonna take a break and talk about our sponsor, Hello Fresh. Actually, I'm gonna take this one. Get out of here. All right, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our sponsor for this week. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal kit. Hello Fresh makes eating at home easy, fun, and affordable. They make eating healthy and living healthy possible because they have so many different options from low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, pescatarian, and always updating new recipes every week and 
every recipe is just jam packed with fresh vegetables that come directly from farmers. And you can look out for many more quick and easy recipes like their oven ready and their 10 to 20 minute meals. And one of my favorite things about HelloFresh is that they can help you eat sustainably. Almost entirely all of the packaging that's used to ship your food to your doorstep is made up of recyclable or already recycled materials. Using HelloFresh, their carbon footprint is 25% less than meals prepared from a regular grocery store. And you can easily change your food preferences or your delivery dates, or even skip a week if you need to. So they make it really convenient. So my family loves HelloFresh. They are some of our favorite meals that make it to the table every week. So give HelloFresh a try. Go to HelloFresh.com, use my code MNB12 to get 12 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, my code MNB12 for 12 free meals plus free shipping. He really wants a taco. Give him a taco. Arliss, you want a taco? You a taco dog? Are you a taco dog? You want a taco? How much cuter does he need to be to get a taco? Can uh, you just get up here? Uh, All right. So Blue, what's next on the show notes? Uh, Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I mean, I think we have like a month left still of spring, right? Yeah. But it is like, the weather's finally getting better, the weather's finally better, but like, it actually feels like, like spring slash summer outside now. Though like, the weather's been warm consistently, we haven't had any freezing cold nights in a couple weeks. And Crow's about to be out of school, which is kind of a relief. Matt says every day, oh, I'm so excited Crow's going to be out of school just because he wants to sleep in and not have to be like, oh, it's time to make dinner. We got to go inside. It's school tomorrow. That's the thing about it. It's like it really the is. waking up. Er I mean, the waking up early kind of sucks sometimes because I have to wake up at 530 to like get the house and get things moving. This morning, he left the window open. So at 530 this morning, the sun I love it because blasting then, on us. Because then it makes it easier to wake up when the room is filled if with If you're light. ready to wake up at 530. Well, I have to be ready to wake up at 530. This is why we ramble on forever. So listen. So not, but it also having to wake up at 5.30 means that like dinner has to happen at like four because Crow has to be to bed at whatever. And so it just like cuts your day short at the end of the day when you're like outside and it's beautiful. Like I don't want to have to start packing up at 3.30 because I have to go inside and make dinner. <laughs> Listen, I am so excited that we can just like stay outside until 7.30 when it gets dark and just keep playing outside. That's so fun to me. It's gonna be that super I, fun. That I can spend seven hours outside and get even more summer. The summer's gonna be pretty exciting because Bro has baseball. Summer baseball is so fun. Can we brag for a second though about our son? He's such a good ball player. He's kind of a little stud on the baseball field. I'm team mom. I like him in charge of the dugout and all that stuff. So I'm like in the dugout, like keeping all the kids, like trying to keep them paying attention to the game instead of like Super climbing on effective. fences. <laughs> They're usually like dangling off the dugout fence and stuff. I was in the dugout and with all the kids, all the team and Crow was up to bat. And the kids were like, oh, he's probably like the best hitter on our team. I mean, there's actually a couple what? really good hitters on the team. No, but there really he are. Is up, he's up there. And I was like, that's it's dead. When he walks up to bat and he gets in his pose. <laughs> like, first he just like crows walk up all like kind of lazy and clumsy. And then he just walks up and he immediately goes. <laughs> yeah, he does that. And then if the pitcher's taking too long, he'll be like. <laughs> yeah, he's practicing. And he'll turn around and he'll shake it out. And then he'll just. <laughs> uh, he's very focused, but. I love it. It makes me so happy because he loves it so much. Our next topic would be garden. That's all me. Blue's like. It's all you? You helped me with the tractor, but what else have you done? Oh, I helped you with the tractor. I did the tractor. I dug up all the natives. You dug up. Oh, that's okay. Let's talk about the compost situation. Last video, we went and got all this compost, the biosolid, all of that stuff. It's supposed to be great for the garden, for the lawn. And. I came down and was like, started doing some more research, and I also realized like the compost on its own is obviously like clearly not going to be enough to grow everything in the garden. So I've been mixing it with our native soil, which is a heavy clay, which is great because the clay will hold more moisture and it give it, um, it. But it's also packed with nutrients. Full of nutrients. The problem is it's just very heavy and thick, and it doesn't it like makes it difficult for plants to like grow and flourish, especially we have a short grow season. So in order for the plants to get big, so I think like mixing it with the compost is great. I'm also 
we disagree a little bit about this, but I'm gonna mix in some gypsum. Gypsum we is don't a disagree mineral. about that. You said that you don't think it needs it. I bought it for the trees, and I went to go use it when I was planting the trees, and it was all gone. That's what we disagree. No, I still about. need more. Gypsum is a mineral that kind of like uh, changes the structure of the of the clay soil, and to help like make it a lighter, not so heavy, dense soil. It helps roots. So that roots can grow well, and it's fine. flourish and thrive. Filling those garden beds, man. I'm like on bed number three, or yesterday I finished bed number three, and it is such brat breaking work mixing in that heavy clay soil. As a matter of fact, like my wrist is still swollen. I could barely move my wrist for two days. It was after. bruised too. It was like bruised and swollen and huge. So I've been for days. I have the sunburn to prove it. Do you want to see my sunburn? The front's not so bad. <laughs> I was wearing my overalls without a shirt yesterday. How y'all doing? You put my sunblock on. Look at it. He does this every year. No, I just get so excited and I forget. But yesterday I did. I was working for a couple hours and then I was like, shh. Point is. I gotta put some bread. And before y'all flood the comments with like, you're gonna get skin cancer, be careful, the comments. and stuff like that. I know, I know it was stupid, and I'll wear sunscreen for the rest of the summer. But he I forgot. Promise. We're rambling, time up, that's where we're at with the garden. I'm finally starting to put some things in. Technically, All right, still no, about I'm not done. I know, but I'm gonna have one more, like, a couple more things to say. Technically, in our area, like, in our zone, we're not supposed to start putting plants in the ground until June 1st because the potential like freeze still, but I'm feeling pretty confident that we're not gonna get another freeze. But even if we do, I have a plan to keep my plants warm. So I've started putting in a few plants. Cute little tomatoes that I grew from seed. I got those in there. And um, some pumpkins I grew from seed. And we bought some onions. And that's all I wanna say about the garden. All right, moving on the trees since I only have 10 seconds left. While Matt's been doing that, uh, all the trees that I've propagated over the last year, which, I mean, I don't, I lost count. 50 plus, maybe even 75. I don't know. There's still so many trees everywhere. Wait, I have planted 14 <laughs> trees this week. 14! 14 in one week. Yesterday, I think I got eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight Yesterday, you planted eight. Yeah, so that's a lot of trees. And I mean, some of them are like baby trees, but some of them are big trees. But with our soil, like planting a baby tree, you can't just stuff it in the ground. You still have to dig a huge hole mix in the compost and the soil because when the ground dries out here it just that clay turns to but it's not rock. just that like yes you do need because you're mixing in the compost and everything like that but blue whenever he plants especially trees he builds a well that is like probably four and a half feet like wide huge wells for like a tree that's this big so each tree takes up like a giant space but it's good because our trees thrive our trees look beautiful yeah too. because the ground all it around is. it is moist and listen i'm not saying that your method doesn't work i think it is works well that's a really weird way to compliment <laughs> it <laughs> okay moving on no you didn't break down the trees oh. he, for this week he got in 14 trees i did say that no but how many trees have we got in this year since oh, the start of the year oh i see 28 trees since january 1st and how many trees over since the last year since we've moved here well since we moved here we've planted 41 trees that's just trees that's not like shrubs and everything else 41 trees on our property we've uh unearthed all these boulders like massive heavy boulders right and we've been moving them dragging them help like the tractor helps a little bit throughout the yard but we've been lining our lawn with them. and when you walk into the backyard it really makes the backyard look sprawling and just like there's a certain, I don't know what the word is, but you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's a beautiful lawn. You have these beautiful boulders that separate the driveway and the lawn, whatever. To me, I look at it and I'm like, it's great. Well, Matt pointed out that everyone who comes over to our house, nobody compliments us on it. Well, I just, not it's even compliments, but just like even comments on the fact that like, right, they comment. were here recently and all those giant boulders were not there. And you're like, nobody's like, hey man, you moved all those boulders. They're like, yeah, but he's very upset about it. I'm not upset. I just am like, not upset at all. That was a lot of work. <laughs> I just want someone to be like, acknowledge. Good job. Here's a gold star. A comment that we've gotten a couple times, and this actually, this is how this whole video started. We were going to do a QA video. The last few QA videos we've gotten have uh, a lot of the same questions. I feel like we, ex we, we, uh, have I answered them? Share so much that sometimes it's it's good to just not answer what people want to know, but offer them something different. What's your point? My point is, I was reading some comments on my Instagram page, and one of the That's comments, 
Instagram account. My Instagram. Well, your uh, Instagram post. It wasn't post. It was my a, Instagram post. But which one? If you would let me finish, I would tell you. So I posted this picture, uh, Ethan, I'm sure everybody watching this knows who Ethan is. And then somebody commented about us having an open marriage. And it's kind of something that other people have said throughout time. So I just wanted to address our open marriage. It's so free to just know that I can do whatever I want and never pay any consequences. But what's interesting to me about it um, is the fact that we're like, we're a gay couple in a marriage, and because we have another friend that's gay that was spending time with us, it is easy to assume that it would be something more than just a friendship. If we were a straight married couple on YouTube, and I don't know, I don't like read comments and other YouTubers things, but, and they had another female friend over that they were spending time with, would, would it be assumed that they were in an open marriage? Assumed. But is it really that much more common for gay men? I guess, maybe. I was reading the statistics about open marriages this morning. It's something like 4% of Americans are in open relationships, which doesn't sound like much, sounds like a small number, they were saying, but if you break it down, it's like one in 25. You know, 25 hey, couples, hey, hey. one of them is... You knew you had friends that were. Yeah, I did. Or do. I wanted to uh, just touch on a couple. Uh, that's fuzzy. A couple videos that we posted recently. Um, one of them was harnessing the power of poop. Um, why are you looking at me like that? To close up the video, you wanted to like take a look back at some old previous videos. I do want to comment though because a lot of people were, I think, genuinely curious about the the compost and what we used it on and how it turned out. And so far, the garden I think is just. It's not in a place where we know it's going to come to fruition and be good for us, but I will say our lawn looks incredible. It is growing like crazy. It's retaining so much more moisture. It's super, super dark green. Uh, and even places last year that were um, kind of hot spots where the sun just beat it and dried out, like that's starting to shoot up like crazy. Um, so for the lawn, uh, and it doesn't smell like poop anymore. It smells like Manure, probably, I don't know, a week or so? Yeah, but like, especially the spot, the first spots that we put it in, the grass has grown in so thick there that it's like kind of soaked down and deep. And on yeah, top of like, the grass it gets, is eating it up. The sun is beating on it, but it gets watered so regularly. So it's like, and it's also from just us being on it and the dog being on it, it's like starting to break up and just like work down into yeah. the like underneath of the grass, the but root system. De definitely worth it. I can't imagine going through the season without having done that because last year, granted we planted the seed last year, so it was a lot of maintenance, a lot of water, multiple times a day getting wet. I, I, I couldn't go through that again this year. The fact that we have that top layer of really healthy uh, nutrition, uh, nutritious soil like on top that's going to retain water and I'm very excited about that. Well worth it. So what's the next video that you wanted to look back on? Our Discovering a Ghost Town video. Oh yeah. I'll tell you why, because I went back and watched it yesterday and it's been a long time since we've made a video that I look back on and get like that warm nostalgic feeling about, you know, it's like uh, when we lived in LA and we would go to Colorado and we'd get back to LA and I'd edit them and I'd watch them and I'd immediately have that feeling of like, oh, we just made memories and it was just a like fun, happy family like, time. Because we went on like on an adventure and explored it's a life and memory. discovered something yeah. together. Um, but it, so I just watched the Ghost Town video yesterday and I feel that same way about that video and it's been so long since we've made videos like that because we've not really done anything but be home. Um, so that I just, I don't know, I, I love that video. So I wanted to uh, give that video a little love and say, go see Two Guns and... Well, can I tell you my little bit about memories. Two Guns? Can I tell you my little bit about Two Guns though? Please start the timer. That I just discovered. Coincidentally, I was listening to the radio the other day at like NPR and there was a story about Two Guns, a saga continues. There's this developer. But what, how weird is it that we went there Had by accident and then now you're Yeah, had by accident. And now um, it's on NPR? And now it's just like this whole, it's like in the news. So, 
So there's this developer so. <laughs> that so, so. had come in and wanted to develop like 230 acres of the two guns area or property. That's so do you think there's more that we didn't see if it's 230 acres? Yeah, well, there's like trails and all different types of things. If you could go and trail and like hike and um, anyway, so. Uh, this developer comes in, he wants to develop this area and build like basically this like huge like glamping hotel slash like RV park area. So it's like a, like a super KOA type of experience but like on steroids. So he's going to have like a place where you can pull in and it's an RV park and like if you're on the road and road tripping. There's also going to be a hotel on the cliff's edge, which we didn't really feature the cliff, but there's this like beautiful cliff there that they was going to build a hotel on. There was going to be like covered wagons you could stay in, yurts, uh, tree houses, and there was going to be a drive-in movie theater, a water park, a miniature golf. Tree houses. Fun, right? But what trees? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's going to like build trees. But here's the thing. Trees. Also, one of the things or buildings that you could stay in were teepees. Ken was like, no, you're not going to come in. You're not going to do that. You're not going to capitalize on this other culture's culture. There's actually still a website where he like takes you on virtual tours of everything that he wanted to do. And it's like a hall breaks, like shows you everything about this experience. And to be honest, it looks really fun and like something we would do. But there's a right way to do it. Did he not do the work to make sure that it was going to be done appropriately in a way that's not going to be offensive? He came to the county before they were like about to have this big meeting to decide whether or not he could build and continue forward with his plans. He had taken out the teepees, but I guess the board members were like, listen, we still don't think that like, they don't, they were not convinced that he really understood what the problem was. Well, I don't know a lot about it. I want to see the link. We're going to put the link in the description. I'm gonna visit the website myself because you never shared it. It's just crazy that like it's so all, crazy. I forgot to share this it. Saga continues with all this two guns area. All right, all our right. last little thing that we're gonna share with you today is from years ago. We made it at a time where we were newer to YouTube. Mm -hmm. You have something to say? Just I just want you to say the name of the videos. <laughs> oh, the name of the video <laughs> is Ugly Lady. We made this video at a time when challenge videos were all the rage. Maybe they still are. Maybe I just don't have any idea of it. But it was like the cinnamon challenge, the chapstick challenge. We decided to make our own kind of challenge. And so we decided to make the ugly lady challenge. And it went like, I dressed Matt's face up and makeup and did his hair and everything. And he did mine. We're looking to ourselves. Ourselves. So we weren't looking in the mirror or anything. It was just Matt doing my face and then <laughs> nobody did our challenge but that's okay because i feel like one person did it, it, oh really i have to go back but it resulted in just like a lot of fun it was just a funny video and it was fun to look back on it's a fun video we're gonna put it here and if anybody wants to uh make the ugly lady challenge i mean we i would be thrilled to watch have a great week have a great week have a beautiful week everybody go out there spread some love spread some peace shop local shop <laughs> Praise me. Make people happy. Make someone smile today. Make someone feel good. And go enjoy the beautiful spring weather. Uh -huh, Get yourself outside. Get some sun. Get some sun. Drink lots of water. Drink lots of water. Brush your teeth in the morning. You should do that. Floss. We love y'all. Peace to the world. He's gonna stay there.